and welcome back to yet another Buffalo Bills pregame. We are so glad you are here for one of my favorite shows of every year, and that is our draft preview. A uh, crazy year for the Bills since we are choosing way late because we have a good team for once. Uh, so it's going to be hard to predict specifically. So we're going to take some time and talk about the Bills, their needs, and what they're going for as the team. Uh, I am joined by Dan. So glad to have you back for this uh, draft preview, Dan. And let's start off, because it just came out today, the Bills are predicted by Vegas to be a 10-win team. Uh, Knee-jerk reaction to that. Too much, too little? Are you going to place your bets right now? I mean, I think I'm going to have to say that that's too little, Um, especially with the added game. I think the Bills, if they can rack up the amount of wins they had last season with – what it looks like to be a lot tougher of a schedule. I mean, the Bills had a pretty tough schedule last year. Um, and I think there's no reason they're not, they shouldn't be able to get 13 wins again. Um, so I think definitely more than 10, though. So I definitely think uh, that's a pretty easy uh, pretty pretty easy bet there. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can bring my son to the casino tomorrow to go place my bet. <laughs> um Free, we have passed the, the majority of the action for preseason. Uh, so what do you think the Bills have done, especially or what stands out to you in terms of the preseason move? There's been a lot, so I'm not going to go into depth on every single one, but anything stand out to you in particular? So I think the Bills have definitely done a good job this offseason of, you know, retaining a lot of their players. You know, they retained Dare Williams, John Feliciano, um, I think that's really important to keep the offense, especially the offensive line, intact. You know, you want to protect Josh Allen. Um, Isaiah McKenzie, I think he's another guy that really, you know, kind of put all the pieces together on offense. Um, and then, of course, Matt Milano. But um, I think the Bills, and then, of course, they've added some pieces as well. Um, I think I, I did like the Jacob Hollister signing. I do think um, he's not – going to be a long-term solution. I still think they should possibly, you know, look for a tight end in the draft, but I do like the Jacob Hollis for signing, signing as well. And um, overall, I think it's been a pretty decent offseason so far. Um, I have a, a bit of a strong opinion on the matter, but before I express my opinion, uh, you didn't mention the, the adding Trubisky to the team and not signing Barkley, but he hasn't signed anywhere else. Do you have any thoughts right off the bat about Trubisky being added? Well, I think, you know, it's interesting just because, yeah, I feel like the last few years, Trubisky has been such a big name in the NFL, not necessarily for the right reasons. But um, I think, you know, if you're going to be competing for a Super Bowl like the Bills are, I think it's definitely important to have a guy where you you at least know he can start games. Um, You know, not that Matt Barkley was terrible, but, you know, when he did have his chances – it didn't look great. It wasn't something, you know, you would want to rely on, you know, fourth quarter AFC championship game in Kansas City. You know, you don't want to have to rely on Matt Barkley. Um, so I definitely do like the signing. Uh, I mean, the, the record clearly shows about my feelings about Matt Barkley. Uh, I think people here in Buffalo really appreciate him and connected with the energy he brought on the sidelines. Um, I'm you, At this point, you have to trust what the front office of this team is doing. Um, but at the same time, like Trubisky better be ready to bring that same kind of energy uh, if he's going to be replacing Matt Barkley. But Matt Barkley's still unsigned, so he's not necessarily gone. So maybe this is just something to try to get, light a fire under Matt Barkley to throw some more balls through tires this offseason. Uh, who knows? Um, um, Anything as we approach the draft, are there any like specific needs that you think the Bills are going for? Um, is like, is that something that we didn't address? Like, not all the free agents are going to end up being starters. So, like, what needs do you see us being most um, in need of? You know, I think uh, the Bills definitely are going to need a pat up, uh, an edge rusher, at least. You know, Jerry Hughes, I believe he's, he's in his last year of his contract. And obviously, he's getting up there in age. So, you know, you definitely need to guy, find a guy that's brought that same intensity that he has for s- such a long time. Um, but I think, you know, like Jared mentioned, um, the, the fact that we're drafting 30th, I think that gives you a lot more flexibility, you know, where you're not 
as worried about, you know, necessarily nailing on a pick, you know, you kind of have more freedom to possibly try something, you know, add something new. Um, even, you know, people have talked about getting a running back, even though, you know, offense isn't necessarily where we're lacking right now, but I think, you know, it can't hurt. Um, I, even though we did out uh, Matt Bryda. Um, is it Bryda or is it Brida? I, I think it's Bryda. Bryda, okay. Okay, oh, yeah, I wasn't sure. Brida. <laughs> Brita. Oh, it is, it is Brita. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so I think, you know, the Bills do have talent at running back right now. Um, Singletary and Moss, they've shown flashes of, you know, playing well last year, but I don't think this, there was necessarily anything where Bills fans were blown away. So, you know, adding at running back, adding talent to the offense right now, you know, that's never going to hurt. So I think the Bills have a lot of options um, for the draft. You know, Josh Allen is definitely rooting for them to pick someone in the offensive side of the ball in the first round. Um, you didn't mention cornerback. I don't know if Levi Wallace is going to be a starting cornerback, so I'd certainly like to see some attention paid to that position. Um, as far as a draft philosophy goes, do you think that the Bills are going to be like, all right, our biggest need is cornerbacks or linebacker, whatever they deem their biggest need, and that's the position we're going to take in the 30th round, or do you think it's more – we're going to take the best available player that fits a need slot. I think they're definitely going to get the best available player, you know, in whatever position that is. I think the Bills have a lot of talent throughout their team this year. So I don't think they're going to, they're not in a position where they need to reach for a certain position. Um, do you, and because we know the propensity of, Brandon Bean to trade up. I remember last year he was had told like warned his staff to not allow him to trade up in the first round because they'd already picked up, um, made the big trade to bring in the receiver. <clears throat> do you do you foresee us picking thirtieth, or do you think there's a good chance of us moving around either forward or perhaps back? I think there's definitely a chance that the Bills will move around. I would say I would be surprised if they moved up. So, if anything, I think they would trade down and get some more capital. Um, because I don't think the Bills have too many extra, if if any, extra picks this year. I think they only draft seven times. Um, so, but, you know, Brandon Bean's definitely had a history of trading up and down throughout the draft. And, you know, so whatever he does, you know, I, I'm going to believe what – I'm going to trust what he's doing. Um, but I can definitely see the Bills – moving down at least i would be somewhat shocked if they moved up yeah uh, in all this has been a very interesting off season because for the first time at least in our recollections the bills are a team that's like a destination that players like i want to go to that like isaiah mckenzie and milano both could have gotten more money elsewhere but chose to come to buffalo and i think that it's been very interesting watching the bills I don't know, perform in a way that they haven't been able to perform uh, whatsoever. And so I'm really excited about how the off is going to roll out and really for the season just to begin. I really hope excited that we'd be able to get to go to training camp this year. Um, you know, football has just been very front and center in my mind recently. I'm very, very excited about it. Um, anything else you wanted to share about the draft before we wrap up the show? Um, no, I think the Bills – are in a great position with how they've handled the offseason so far. And um, no, I'm definitely excited for the draft. I'm excited for the schedule to come out, you know, see how that goes. But um, yeah, I'm excited for football. Well, yeah. Even still have a while to go. <laughs> Getting closer. The rosebuds are about to come out. It's basically summer already. Um, thank you all so much for watching this and all the Buffalo Bills pregame shows. Be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, leave any comments if there's any questions you want us to address at the draft recap coming up. Uh, and other than that, thank you so much for watching Buffalo Bills pregame. And we'll be back real soon. Oh. This has not been my best performance.